good evening everyone welcome back to our channel or welcome if you're new i am about to get supper started it is already 3 38 i try to get supper started around 3 30 4 o'clock ish kind of um because my husband should be home around 5 5 15 something like that unless he has to work over but today we're just going to do some chicken and dumplings and i'm about to put these uh boneless skinless chicken thighs in here to boil uh, so they can already be done then i just have to make the dumplings you'll have to excuse the background noise tiny has a piece of ice eating it but uh, i'm gonna put my chicken on the boil so that'll already be done and i just have to do the dumplings after that and um i got some stuff to clean up over here gotta wash some dishes but usually i just use i don't know you gotta think i'm feeding six people and then feeding my husband for lunch the next day too so probably a good three probably about i don't know can you tell about that size of the chicken breast three to four of them just depends i'm probably just gonna use three this time all right i'm gonna get these on the bowl and we're still finishing up some schoolwork too we got started late i've been in here trying to mop the kitchen floor it was disgusting because all this rain and mud in here all right let me go fill my pot it with water We haven't done a whole lot today, just kind of cleaning up and stuff because our house was destroyed from the weekend and Tiny just had surgery last week. So um, we had to sit around and watch her, make sure she did not take her suture or her um, staples and stuff out. We had her spayed. It took Sage almost a year to decide to go ahead and have her spayed after what happened to our last little Jack Russell. But uh, we started using a different vet and they did all the blood work that they needed to to make sure that she was going to be able to metabolize the anesthesia and to uh, make sure she did not have a blood clotting disorder. Uh, that was not done with the last one. So that made me feel better. And they were going to monitor her where I was carrying her. They were going to monitor her really close to make sure nothing like that happened again. But uh, anyway, that's what another thing I was going to tell you. We've got to go tomorrow to have her staples taken out, and I put in a Walmart grocery pickup order. I do not have a meal plan for tomorrow's video, if I can get her, yeah, tomorrow's video, if I can get it out. The reason I haven't had videos coming out, um, like, very regularly is our internet stinks here where we're at. But in mid-November, first to mid-November, we're supposed to be getting the fiber optic internet, so I'm hoping that will help me push my videos on out. So I'm trying y'all. It's just my internet doesn't want to cooperate. All right, I'm gonna go help her finish up with schoolwork and then I'm gonna go get these dumplings made and I will probably carry y'all along with me for that. And then I gotta go gather eggs and feed chickens too. Y'all, this crazy cat, he has got up in my little box that holds my uh, markers, my dry erase markers. And I guess that's, that's where he thinks he's supposed to stay now. Crazy. All right, y'all. I am starting out with just um, making up some of my regular biscuit dough. I just put in probably about two tablespoons of butter. I put it in the microwave to melt, and then um, I'm gonna be mixing some self-rising flour in with it. And I figured out uh, I'm completely out of self-rising flour now. <laughs> But I do have that on my um, grocery pickup order for the next day. And um, after the butter's melted, I just go ahead and mix that all together. And I also use, I also put some buttermilk in with it in a minute. You'll see that just in a second. All right, here is the buttermilk that I'm putting in there. Um, I just got this buttermilk from Aldi, and it it's pretty good. You don't want your biscuit dough too sticky for dumplings. You kind of want it a little bit more dry. 
and I kind of ended up pouring a little bit too much buttermilk in there so it ended up sticky so I did have some um, just regular all-purpose flour and I poured in there to make it a little bit more dry it worked out just fine so you just mix all that in really well make sure you get your butter that's melted down in the bottom mixed in because it makes it more tasty so just mix that in and then I ended up putting a little bit extra of some all-purpose flour Alright y'all, here is where I'm mixing up the soupy part and I just put in a whole stick of salted butter and let that melt down. Alright y'all, my butter has melted and now I'm pouring in a whole big family size container of chicken broth. You're just gonna let that heat up with the um, already melted butter and as you can see in the pot behind that one I've already taken the chicken out and um, I end up I think I end up adding the rest of the chicken broth that came off of um, the cooked chicken in there too because it was already hot and it helped heat things up more yeah there I go <laughs> I just add the rest of that it's just it's chicken broth too i just cook chicken in it but i put my chicken in the freezer after i've already boiled it to let it cool down because it makes it a whole lot easier to shred it doesn't burn your fingers and i don't have to waste forks on trying to shred it but anyway now i'm gonna put in a can of cream of mushroom soup and a can of cream of chicken soup that gives it more taste Alright, now you're just going to give it a good stir. Just make sure that you get all that cream of mushroom and cream of chicken soup kind of broke down. Make sure nothing's sticking on the bottom of your pot. I do have this on like in between medium and high because you want your liquid to be pretty hot when you dump your dumplings in there. Because, um, and I put some salt and I think I end up putting some pepper in there too. But you want the liquid hot. For when the dumplings go in there because it helps cook the dumplings a whole lot faster I was just showing you there that I had some salt now I gotta run over to the table and get my pepper because my pepper on the stove is completely empty and I think I'm gonna end up um, having to go to Sam's Club or order from Sam's Club some more pepper to go in my pepper shakers Okay, here I am um, just making sure that I get my dough pretty thin. You want it about the as thin as what a tortilla is, or you can get a little bit thicker. It just depends on what size dumplings you want. But I just, instead of rolling it out and messing up my, um, my countertops and stuff, I just like pat it out thin with my hands and I just pinch it off and put it in the hot liquid and you'll see here in just a little bit my daughter see that's, I put mine a little bit thicker but we like thicker dumplings a lot of people want it more thin so or thinner so it just depends on your likeness of the dumplings but my uh, one of my older daughters come in in just a minute and help me because I had a lot I had a lot of dumplings to put in there and I did end up using, I didn't have enough dough made up because I had run out of flour. So I ended up, I had a can of the, they're like the bigger, they're not grands, but it's the Aldi brand of canned biscuits. And I think it, I think it had eight in it and I ended up patting those out. You can use those too. That's a whole lot easier than making homemade biscuit dough, but I just prefer my homemade biscuit dough for my dumplings. 
but I ended up putting in the whole can of those canned biscuits too. I just kind of flattened them out with my hands too and pinched them off and put them in there. All right, y'all, here is my chicken. It finally cooled off and I shredded it. So I just put all of that chicken in there and let everything heat up. My dumplings are about done by now. So we're just gonna, there's my daughter steering everything in. Um, we're just gonna let everything heat up and we'll be ready to eat. And you're gonna wanna turn your uh, temperature down in between um, low and medium. So that way everything doesn't stick. And there is my bowl of dumplings. I'm gonna go eat and get ready to go to bed afterwards. But first we're gonna do a quick clean on the kitchen. I absolutely love going to bed with a clean kitchen. It just makes so much better of a next morning. I do not do this every single night and my kitchen was nasty this night. But I don't do this every single night, so don't let me fool you on that. But it does feel so much better the next morning to wake up with a clean kitchen. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for my video today. I will see y'all on my next one. Bye.